Now a metronome can be any kind of device that makes a constant clicking sound as long as you can alter the speed. So you could use a drum machine for instance or as I'm going to use an electric keyboard. So I'm going to play you the forward backward roll at 60 beats a minute. Now, because our rolls are written in eighth notes, meaning there are eight to a measure, the machine is going to be clicking at four uh, clicks per measure, so I'm going to have to play two notes for each click. A bit loud there, wasn't it? smooth and automatic, <clears throat> you can increase the speed by about 5 beats a minute. So here's the forward back roll at 65 beats per minute. So that's going OK, so we can increase the uh, beats per minute by another 5. 70 beats per minute. Obviously I'm giving very short demonstrations here and if you remember that Earl Scruggs said that they should be practiced a thousand times each, well perhaps five minutes, minimum of five minutes for each roll before you start to increase the speed. Remember that the roles have to change to be able to pull out the melody. So it would be almost unheard of for you to play one whole piece through with, with one just one roll. It will be almost unheard of. So this next exercise that we're going to do will help you develop the techniques for a quick response to roll changes. What we're going to do is we're going to loop all the, the rolls around. So starting with the uh, forward backward roll, I'm going to play each sequence as it's written. So there's two sequences of each roll there. And then go straight into the next one and so on and so forth right to the end. I'm going to do that at 80 beats a minute. <laughs> Now here's a tricky bit. There's a rule when you're playing rolls, when you're playing eight notes uh, to a measure like we're doing, in that you're not allowed to, well you can, you can try putting one thumb straight after another. But you'll find it very difficult. It's like kind of like taking two left footsteps. You'll trip yourself up. It slows you down. So what we're going to do when we get to roll number six and we've finished that and we want to turn around and go back to the beginning, we're going to stick in roll number three again to help us turn that loop around. Now, roll number three says it starts with a thumb. All right, one of the little tricks of bluegrass is changing the, the digit to adapt to the change of roll. So we're going to begin roll number three with an index finger, this time not a thumb. And on the second sequence, we're going to take over with the thumb again and go back to the forward-backward roll. 
So I'm going to demonstrate that for you now, how to turn around your, your loop from roll number six back to roll number three, starting with the index finger, then continuing with the thumb, and then going back to the forward backward roll in order to start the loop all over again. Okay, so I'm going to do that at 80 beats a minute. Here's a Foggy Mountain Breakdown Roll. Forward Roll, with the Index, Thumb, Forward Backward Roll. And so on. When you're practicing with the metronome, Nominate to yourself how many sequences of each roll you're going to do. That way you get into the discipline of sending the messages for your, from your brain to your hands as to what's going to be expected of them. Okay, it's good, important to start off with that kind of technique and discipline right from the beginning.